Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today is, wait, yeah, Wednesday. Oh, we had a bank holiday this weekend. It always throws me off. <laughs> today is Wednesday and I thought I would just film a vlog for you today because I am on Operation Sort My Life Out and I love watching these kind of videos. So I thought I would film it today for you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I recently got back from holiday. I went to Croatia, which, oh my goodness, is absolutely stunning i have only been to croatia once and that was when i was like backpacking when i was in uni and i don't really feel like i appreciated how beautiful the country is then and honestly i i can't get over how stunning it is i want to go back i'm so excited to go back i am literally recommending it to everyone so we did three days in dubrovnik and three days in havar and i do have holiday vlogs coming they'll be coming after this vlog so next week so yeah look out for them because i really miss doing travel vlogs actually so it was really fun to do that and uh, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen all of my posts and all my recommendations and stuff. I'll show you actually, but I've got uh, like a big old highlight on there with loads of recommendations of like what to do and where to eat and everything like that. So if you just go on my page and click on the highlights here and I go through the trip like step by step basically <laughs> and then at the end i just popped the um list of recommendations and everything like that so definitely do check that out if you are looking to book a trip to croatia anyway as i said you know that feeling when you get back from holiday and you just feel like you really want to organize and like sort your stuff out sort everything out sort the house out have a bit of a spring clean you know what i mean i don't know if anyone else gets that but i really felt like that i almost feel like since so the first of september today and i almost feel like i'm like going back to school like i've had my summer holidays uh which was august which i felt like i didn't really do a lot of like organizing um i was having a lot of fun i was seeing a lot of friends and it was my birthday and like all of that fun stuff but now i feel like september is the month to get myself sorted sort out my wardrobe because obviously we're coming into autumn uh, which makes me really sad oh hang on let me get that sorry about that as i was saying yeah i feel like i want to sort out my awesome wardrobe so i want to like kind of have a bit of a clear out of uh my wardrobe i also have some new bits to show you so i'll show you them in a minute and yeah i just want to have a big old clear out big old organizer i've written like a long to-do list of everything that i want to get done so anyway first things first i'm going to do my makeup and then i will come back and show you what i got from topshop and have a little chat i have also been loving imogen horton's renovation vlogs I'm just watching one now. So I'm gonna pop that on while I do my makeup. I absolutely love listening to YouTube while I do my makeup. Just feels like, I don't know, it always feels like you're like getting ready with your mates, if you know what I mean. Oh, my legs. Oh my God. I went to my first PT session back for a month this morning and my legs are killing me already. So I don't even want to think about how much they're gonna hurt me tomorrow. Right, I feel like the light's not very good there. Hang on, let me move, yeah. So I'm here already with a cup of tea in my dog mum mug. Look, how cute is this? My friend got it for me for my birthday. So it says Raffi and Ruby on that side. And then it says dog mum on the other side. Tell me you're obsessed with your dog without telling me you're obsessed with your dog. <laughs> anyway, I've just made myself a cup of tea because it is so cold today. I've just put the heating on for the first time in, oh my gosh, like ages. And yeah, I really feel like autumn is, you know, it's coming. We can't do anything about it. It's coming, which I'm kind of sad about because I love the sun, but I also do love autumn fashion. So I have a couple of bits from Topshop via ASOS. That I wanted to show you so it's all in this box here so if you guys have been following this channel for a while you will know how much I love Topshop and how much I have loved it for years and years and years it's one of the first hauls that I ever did on my channel so yeah it's always one of my go-to's and it's so easy to shop it on ASOS so I am actually working with Topshop and ASOS on this video just for this section to show you some of their new in bits for the autumn season so very excited about that so let's get this open so I always find dressing in September a little bit difficult because sometimes it can be quite warm sometimes it can be quite cold but it's often not cold enough to wear like a full-blown coat but it's also not warm enough to not wear a jacket at all so blazers are normally my go-to in this season i mean i love blazers all year round anyway but i definitely have a real focus on them more in the like september kind of autumnal months okay so first up we have this blazer this is a double-breasted blazer with tortoiseshell buttons and it has this gorgeous check print if i come in a little bit closer in lovely shades of like beige black 
brown and like an almost very very light pink running through it but i love blazers like this because i think they're so so great to be worn with quite simple basic outfits underneath so maybe like an all black outfit or maybe you know blue jeans and a white tee or something like that and then adding a blazer like this really does add a little bit of interest to the outfit with the pattern and also the colors as well i am so impressed with the quality of this blazer i really feel like it's just a really really nice thickness it's a really nice structure and cut so it's kind of thick enough that it feels really good quality and it's going to keep you warm but it's not too thick that it's like really rigid and you feel like you can't really move in it so it's kind of the perfect layering piece in that sense and then I love the structure of it so it's got kind of little shoulder pads at the top here so the top is a little bit structured and then as we go down into the bottom it just feels a little bit more kind of flowy and I don't know I like that kind of slightly more slouchy look I really feel like it just looks like quite a high-end blazer and then I've just paired it with a oversized t-shirt from Topshop and then some shorts as well from Topshop which are so so comfy they're a ribbed material I don't know how well you're going to see because obviously they're black but they're a really nice ribbed material so they're really stretchy and comfortable and I think they're nice and flattering and then what I love about these is I think they're actually gym shorts so I don't know if you can see that but they have like an elasticated waistband which is so so great because they're really really comfy really flattering on the tummy area and they stay up really well as well so they'll be great for the gym if you do want to wear them for the gym but then they're also great for like more casual days wearing them with a blazer like this and then I've just popped on my converse and then this would be like an outfit that's like easing me into autumn weather like not full autumn <laughs> but just easing me in nicely and then I'd probably pop uh, a little black bag with it as well hang on I'll get one and then yeah I just pair it with a little black bag and then this is like a perfect kind of city look so next up we have another blazer and I really like this one because I feel like it's a little bit different and I don't have anything like it so it's a cropped blazer and I find cropped blazers really really flattering especially if you're wearing high-waisted jeans which I wear a lot of but yeah, it's a cropped blazer, it's black, it's got the two buttons there. So it is a cropped black blazer and then it has the two buttons there and then it has like a little vent at the back there. But I just thought this would be really, really cool for an evening with some high-waisted jeans and some boot heels or normal heels. But also, again, you could definitely wear this into the office with some cigarette trousers. I feel like I could definitely do like an office wear lookbook if anyone's interested, let me know down below. But yeah, I think this would be a really, really good versatile piece. You know, maybe if you're going into work and then you're going for drinks after, this would be a great one. I'd wear it with like a bodysuit and some jeans, as I said, or, you know, you could wear it with like t-shirt if you want a more casual look. There's loads of ways to style this actually. So this is the black cropped blazer and I really, really like it. It's that perfect kind of lightweight layering piece that you can kind of just throw on over an outfit and it looks really put together. And then I've just paired it with some Topshop mom jeans, my straw heels, and then a Topshop racer neck top, which I absolutely live in. But yeah, I think this is one of those great ones where you don't really know what jacket to wear and you don't want anything too hot, but you want something to, you know, cover you up a little bit. Sorry, I just had an absolute coughing fit because my tea just went down the wrong way. Anyway, next up I picked up some sunglasses. Now I wear sunglasses all year round, literally like winter, autumn, summer, spring, all the time. And I really like the look of these because they're kind of like a cat eye, but they're not like a super sharp cat eye, if that makes sense. So they're not too like statement. I don't know, does that, does that make sense? Like they're a bit more wearable. So I'll show you them like this. So as you can see, they do have like the point, but they're not super, super pointed. And then what I also liked is that they have this kind of, kind of like, I wanna say like an ombre effect down from black to tortoiseshell, which I thought was really, really nice. So let me try them on. Okay, so what do we think? Obviously not with this outfit, but I just thought they were quite cool, a little bit different and they were 14 pounds. So next up, I picked up a jogger set. Now, Topshop joggers, I feel like they were like the originals who brought out the real like 90s style joggers. I have so many colors of them and I absolutely love them. So when I saw these, I was very, very excited because firstly, I love the cream color. I think that's so nice. But the thing that I love the most is the green. Green is everywhere at the moment. It's quite a big trend and I am buying into that trend so much. I love it so much. I don't know what it is about the green, but yeah, I just think it's really, really nice. So these have the green writing on them there, which says Newport 71. They go into a cuff at the bottom there, and then they come with the matching jumper, which also says Newport 71. So I'd say this is definitely quite oversized. This is a size small and it is quite big. This has got to be one of the comfiest jogger sets that I own. <laughs> Hi Rafi. 
<laughs> it's so so nice it's really really cozy and comfy the only thing i would say is the jumper comes up quite big so maybe size down uh if you didn't want it as big i've just tucked it in for like quite a slouchy look but it's so cool as i said i love the green i think it looks really really cool and honestly it's just so nice just for chilling around the house or going out and about and like i said i'd pop it on with a pair of converse it's a really good length on me as well do you like it what do you think <laughs> but yeah no it's so cute i'm really tempted to wear this out today but i feel like i have to be slightly smarter uh because we are meeting the accountant but i think it's so so nice and i actually don't want to take it off so next i have a little three-piece suit and i'm actually really excited about this because i have no idea what it's going to look like but hopefully it's going to look nice um but yeah i have a three-piece suit and it's in a chocolate brown color i love chocolate brown as a color i think it's really really cool i think especially it's such a nice autumnal color however i don't own anything in this color so i'm excited to see you know if it suits me if it looks good you have to let me know what you think but first up the blazer so this is a single breasted blazer uh in this like i said gorgeous chocolate brown but it has like kind of i don't know if you can see that kind of like a detailing running through it it has slightly lighter tones as well which i think is really nice but you only see that when you go like close up to it and then it comes with matching trousers like so so these are the trousers they're like a wide leg trouser and then they have a slit detail at the bottom which i think is always really really flattering especially if you're wearing heels or even if you're wearing like trainers or something it's quite nice to see a little bit more of the shoe they've got a zip at the side there so I think this would be a great one again for workwear, but then this really, really makes it like more of a going out kind of piece. So it comes with a little matching kind of crop top bralette, which I think is so, so cool. So obviously wearing it with the trousers and then if you have the blazer like open, then you can see this little bralette. It's got adjustable straps and it has a zip at the back there. So it's nice and easy to get in and out of. So I got this one in a size eight, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. It's very different to something that I would normally try, but I did think it would be a really cool one for an evening out. But then also I could wear the blazer on its own with a pair of jeans, or I could wear the trousers with like a t-shirt or a white silky shirt or something, you know, like I said, for work. Okay guys, I am so impressed with this suit. I really didn't know what to expect and I didn't know, you know, if it was gonna look good on me or whatever, but I actually really, really like it. So I'll pan down so you can see. So that is the trousers. I love the little slit at the side there. I think it's so, so flattering. And then I love the kind of cross between like very kind of workwear vibe, but then party vibe with the little bralette underneath. So this is the blazer. So it's quite oversized, comes down to like mid thigh. So it covers your bum and everything like that. And then this is the little crop top. So now one thing I would say about this crop top is if you have bigger boobs and definitely do size up. So I am like a B slash C and I'd say it fits my boobs pretty well, but I couldn't have gone any smaller if you know what I mean. But I love like the little strap detail here and I just love like the matching three piece cord vibe. I think it's really, really cool. And yeah, just a little bit different. Like I said, I've also literally just been on Instagram and I saw Millie from Love Island wearing it as well. So I feel like if she's wearing it, she's so cool. Then <laughs> definitely gets approval from me as well. Rafi's watching me do this video. and <laughs> I feel like he's just like looking at my outfits and breaking them out of 10 in his head. <laughs> look at those cross paws so that is all of the asos top shop bits as i said i will leave everything linked in the description box below along with the sizes that i got and everything in case you didn't catch it so yeah do head down to the description box to have a little look so now i'm gonna get on with some work i'm literally so hungry and it's only 11 o'clock this is the problem when you get up early you get so hungry by literally 11 and i'm like trying to <laughs> wait but i'm really really hungry so i'm gonna see if there's any snacks downstairs uh, but yeah, I'm going to get on with some work. I need to like send some info over to some people. Um, I need to just reply to a few emails and stuff like that. And then I'm planning on having a little bit of an organise of my bathroom cupboards and cabinets because I've got loads of products that um, are like run out or they're out of date or I just need a good old sort out. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to like actually make it all fit in nicely <laughs> and everything like that as well. So I will obviously bring you along with me for that. I feel like what I'm going to do is try and in every day in september maybe not every day maybe every weekday because every day is probably a bit ambitious isn't it every weekday i'm going to try and organize like one part of the house or um my wardrobe because i always feel like i kind of start the mammoth task of clearing out my wardrobe and i get halfway through and it's like seven hours in or something and i just want to give up but i've got stuff everywhere so then i just rush it so i think instead of doing that i'm going to take each day like and just assign myself like half an hour after work or an hour or something to do certain parts of my wardrobe so go through my jeans try them all on make sure they all fit and everything like that that'll be like one day 
And then like another day, for example, would be going through like all of my summer dresses and maybe putting, you know, some away that I'm definitely not going to wear over the next sort of, sort of few months. Um, I've got like a hat, scarf, gloves drawer that I really need to sort out. Do you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and I think today it's going to be my bathroom drawers sort out. Um, and then a little bit later on today, me and Sam have a meeting with our accountant. So I'm gonna to go to that and then we're gonna go and get our favorite pasta ever afterwards. So that'll be so nice. I'll bring you along with me to that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the date. And then I think I might have a bath this evening because we have finally had our bathrooms finished. Honestly, I'm like so over the moon. It has been such a long time in the making and I feel like I've been like hinting about these bathrooms for so long, but it's not, I haven't been not showing you because I'm being difficult. It's generally that it's taken months to finish. It's just getting like all the tradesmen in at the right times and everyone's so, so busy at the moment. So yeah, it's finally finished and I can finally have a bath because we didn't have a bath in the house before. So I can finally have a bath and I feel like my muscles are definitely going to need that. So yeah, I might have a bath a little bit later and yeah, that is about it for the day really. So I don't know why I've just given you the full itinerary of the day, but we move. Right, let's go downstairs and do some work. So I decided to pop the Topshop jogger set on with my slippers because I was really cold and I was just like, why am I turning the heating on when I could just put a jumper on? So anyway, I thought I would do um, a little bit of a PR unboxing. Raph, <laughs> he does this every time. <laughs> Sounds like I'm sitting on the floor, I suppose. Come here, sit here, sit, sit next to me. Sit, sit down. Don't be disobedient now. Good boy, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the kisses. Anyway, um, his nose. But I thought I would do a PR unboxing of a few products that I've been sent. I really rarely do these videos, um, or do these in videos, but I have a few new products and I just thought it might be a nice thing for you guys to see. So first up, I was absolutely spoiled by Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, anyone that knows me or follows me on Instagram or has been watching my channel for a while knows I am Charlotte Tilbury obsessed. I'd say like at least 50% of my makeup collection is Charlotte Tilbury. I love her products so, so much. And yeah, I was very, very excited to receive this. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection. So I have a few of the lipsticks here. I also have a Supermodel Eyes Liner Duo, a Nude Gasm Face Palette, and a Super Nudes, oh, I've got hair. <laughs> A super nude eye palette so I'm gonna get into all of them now and show you them for anyone else who is obsessed with makeup or obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury as well her palettes are always gorgeous I always think they make such nice presents I actually it was my uh, friend's bridal shower the other day and I bought her a Charlotte Tilbury um, little set which I thought was just like a nice present and I kind of figured like it's a bit of a fail safe one you know oh wow oh my goodness <gasps> That is so nice. Okay, hang on, let me show you this without showing you the mirror, because that's just gonna reflect. That's what I love as well. Charlotte Tilbury palettes have really good mirrors. So that's the mirror there. There you go, I'll just cover the mirror up. Look at those colors. <gasps> those two top ones are really appealing to me. Oh my goodness me. And then this is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. I love her palettes as well because they're really quite small so you can like fit them in your handbag really easily. And again, they've got a good mirror. So if you need a mirror as well. So this is the Super Nudes Palette and I feel like this is such a good one for like an everyday eye palette because you have some gorgeous neutral shades there. You have the black as well if you want to do uh, like a bit of liner. I love that lighter shade there for like your inner corner. That is so, so nice. So all of them have a slight kind of sparkle to them, but nothing too much. Okay, and then let's get into some of these colors. So I have five colors here. Let's have a look at them all. Five of these colors there. So I feel like these two here are probably gonna be most me. So let's try this one, Supermodel. Oh, nice. That kind of gives me like a darker pillow talk kind of color. Let me see if there's anything a bit lighter. Let's try, mm, let's try catwalking. So this one is a little bit lighter than the last one that I showed you to compare. There we go. Oh my God, there's nothing better than a fresh lip. Uh, so that one is catwalking. I feel like this is gonna be a really me shade. 
Should I try it? I need to wipe this off. Okay, so they're quite sheer, which I didn't expect, but I actually really like, and they've got like a little bit of a sheen to them. So definitely not like a matte. Oh, that's really nice. I really like that. So that is catwalking. And then I'm gonna just pop the other one over the top, which is supermodel. Okay, and then that is catwalking with supermodel over the top. So they look a lot darker in the lipstick tube than they do on. I really like them. They're so, so nice. So then next up, I have a package, which I think is from Cordley, which I'm very excited about because I love Cordley products. They're so nice. Hi, Ruby. Introducing Cordley's natural solution for blemish-prone skin, the all-new Vino Pure line. Newly redesigned to be even more effective, the four-step Vino Pure routine is formulated using natural origin ingredients and visibly improves the skin quality of acne-prone skin without being too harsh. So I don't really have blemish-prone skin. I'm much more on the dry side. My skin's very kind of dry and dehydrated. So I will probably be passing this on to someone who could maybe make more use of it. But it looks like we have a gel cleanser. I love the color of this as well. A gel cleanser, a purifying toner. I love how cordially comes with uh, like glass bottles as well. I think it makes it look so luxe. Actually, do you know what? If there's anybody who is watching this video who feels as though this would really benefit them, um, maybe you have blemish prone skin and you'd really like to give this a try, then just comment down below um, and I will just pick one at random and then I will, if you comment your Instagram handle, I'll pick one at random and um, then I can message you and I can send it out to you. So then this is the moisturizing mattifying fluid. A little bit of a explanation here and it says minus 63 percent of acne spots from one week this serum tackles dilated pores and blackheads and refines the skin texture without being too dry and can apply directly to a spot can also be used on back knee that's interesting so yeah and then this next parcel which i'm really excited about because this is actually for me and rafi um they actually got in touch and said we'd like to send you and rafi something so i'm sure he's gonna be very excited he's asleep at the minute but i'm sure he's gonna wake up because i don't know what's in here so it's from sunday riley and it's this massive <laughs> box and it was for international dog day which was a couple of days ago so i'm a little bit late on this but yeah it's this big box here and i love sunday riley products so Ooh, oh my goodness okay so we have three products here from sunday riley and i'm so excited because i really want to try this one in particular so <laughs> i'll get it out so this is the ceo uh vitamin c brightening serum and i've heard so much good stuff about this so yeah very excited to try that vitamin c is targeted to quickly fight the look of dullness dark spots and discolorations at the source while dis diminishing the signs of aging but yeah i love vitamin c products i've got a murad product with vitamin c in which is so so good and then this is the lunar sleeping night oil which is a retinoid oil i believe yeah and then this is the good genes glycolic acid treatment let me get it out <laughs> okay. so yeah the good genes glycolic glycolic acid treatment um deeply exfoliates and repairs the look of dull congested and sun damaged skin so that's that one very excited to try those and then I think whatever's for Rafi is underneath here. <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> Rafi! What's this? Oh my goodness me! Are you excited? <laughs> He's wagging his tail. <gasps> Raph, come look! Oh my goodness, is that for him to wear? <gasps> Stop! It's a little neckerchief. Oh my goodness, he's so excited, he can't contain himself. Okay, let me get these out. Wow, they look so nice. <gasps> look! Oh my! Do you want it? <laughs> look, it says Rafi on it. How cute is that? Okay, okay, alright. Let me hang on one second, I'll give it to you. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, hang on. Just one second, one second. <laughs> oh my god. Rafi, sit, sit. Good boy. Ah! Stay, stay, stay. Okay, good boy. What is it? Wow. <gasps> okay, take it to bed. That will definitely keep him quiet for a little bit. Raf, Raffy, <gasps> just ignoring me. Raffy, what do you think? Is it nice?
<laughs> so whilst that's keeping Rafi entertained, I'm gonna sit here and do some work and some emails and I'm also gonna have a smoothie. These are the Press London smoothies and I absolutely love them. They taste so good and they've just got like no rubbish in them whatsoever. Um, so yeah, gonna have one of these and then I'm probably gonna make some lunch in a minute. I've just had a notification on my phone to say that my period is due in the next few days and that explains a lot, let me tell you that. <laughs> it explains why I'm so hungry today, it also explains why I feel so knackered and like drained of energy uh, and it also explained why I cried last night for no reason. <laughs> so that's good, at least I know that it's just my period. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get on with some editing now. And then I need to go and get ready and head out for our meeting. This day is actually going really, really quickly, but yeah, I just feel very, very tired. So very much looking forward to getting in tonight and chilling. So I'm halfway through editing, but I have to go get ready to leave now. So I'm gonna get dressed and then head into town. So this is the outfit that I've gone for today. Just some mum jeans, Converse blazer, black long sleeve t-shirt because I am so cold today. Honestly, how many times have I spoken about the weather in this vlog? I actually don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna get off now and I'll speak to you later. So we are just out of our meeting and with Sam. Oh, you can't even see you because there's the sun over your face. Um, yeah, just with Sam now. And we're gonna head and get some, no, we're gonna head and get some dinner, hopefully. Hopefully they've got a table here because they're always so busy. It's quite early, isn't it? Yeah, it's, what time is it, half five? Five. Oh, hopefully we should be okay. Probably just eating with like all the kids. <laughs> this is where we're heading. Sugo. The best pasta you'll maybe ever eat if you live in Manchester. There's one in the city centre too. So we just sat outside because they didn't have a table. Honestly, this place is the busiest place ever. I think I haven't sat inside in like well over a year because it's just so busy. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty cold. But <laughs> it's definitely worth it for this pasta. So yeah, we're just going to eat and go home. So we're back from dinner now and I am honestly, <laughs> sorry, I feel like all I've spoken about in this video is the weather or about how tired I am. But yeah, I had big plans, as you guys know from the start of this video, Rafi, excuse me, hey, Raf, no. As you guys will know from the start of this video, I feel like I was very optimistic with what I was going to get done today. I had plans, I was going to clear out the bathroom cabinets. I was gonna write a big old like declutter list and declutter every day in September. <laughs> it's going really well. <laughs> no, I'm just really not in the mood. Like I said, my period's about to come and you know, you just feel those days before your period, I just feel like really lethargic and I've just got no motivation, no energy, anything like that. So I decided that I'm not gonna do that and I'm not gonna like put pressure on myself or be annoyed at myself for not getting something done that I wanted to because I don't know, I always feel like when your period's here, you just gotta take it easy, you know? Sorry, also massively probably overshared about my period, but you know, it's very normal. So I think instead, I'm just gonna get a nice early night, get into bed and maybe like read my book or something like that, just do, just something relaxed. I've already edited this vlog and it's quite long anyway, so I feel like if I was to add loads more stuff like all the organization, it would just be a really long one. So I will just make that into another vlog. So yeah, sorry I gave you guys like all these false promises of like this real organized decluttering, like productive person I was gonna be this morning, but that was then, this is now. And I'm tired. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.